Good afternoon, laddies and lassies. Top of the morning to you. Today is March 19th, 2023. And I'm going to be doing the brake lines because I have all the parts and I have some time today. Now, this video isn't going to be a very uh, thorough video. Um, basically, I'm going to just show the bending of a single brake line, okay? The shortest one, which is the left front brake line, and the rest are pretty much the same. Here they are. Okay, copper nickel. And uh, these are brake pads. I'm not doing these today. I don't really need them right now. And I have the uh, brakes failure switch. I might put a new one in. There's nothing. I don't think there's anything wrong with the old one. Um, and these are the uh, the grommets. I got those from a nice seller on the on the internet. Because mine are all cracked and rotted. I'm sure there's going to be some four letter words when I try to put these things in. But uh, hopefully they'll go in easily. Maybe with a little soap, soap and water. We'll see. And this is the brake uh, line tool I bought. Yeah. CP21105. Just your basic, does three sizes. It should be good for this uh, simple, simple uh, brake line job. Okay, everyone. See you later. Incidentally, I brought the brake lines inside because I figured it's warmer in here. It's like 70 degrees Fahrenheit and it's like 47 degrees outside. I had these in the trunk. So let them get down up to room temperature and they'll be easier to bend. And here's the tool. Should be good. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, I just unscrewed the old brake line. And the grommet uh, popped right out, as you can see. Car is uh, a little bit jacked up. Okay. See, just a little bit jacked up. So you have access. And I'm going to go inside and bend the brake line now. Uh, the lighting in my dining room here is, uh, is not the greatest for doing this type of work. It's... But it's wonderful for dining. But it's all right. Anyway, okay. So here's the old grommet. It's probably the original. Who knows? Maybe the second set. Okay, this brake line is uh, pretty much devoid of uh, brake fluid. Looks to be a steel line. So I'm just going to find the one that's like just as long as it in this kit here. They are marked. I, th I think it's this one. I think it's this number two. Give it a shot. All right, so this appears to be the right one. This is the left front brake line. This this brake line goes to the left front caliper from the uh, proportioning valve on a left-hand drive. TR7. And if you look at this chart, you'll see that number two says right hand front. But this is a British company, so right hand front on a right hand drive is the short line. So this is a left hand drive, so you just got to swap. You just got to swap lines uh, two and three. You could see that. Uh, you know, three is left-hand front, but on an American car, it's right-hand front, okay? And two is right-hand front on a British car, but on an American car, it's left-hand front. So I'm going to just start by just bending this into a straight pipe. It's flexible, not hard to bend. And then I'm going to just make one bend at a time, okay? Pretty easy. Just really quick to bend it straight. All I'm doing is is uh, resting this part down on the table, and with two hand, with my left hand, I'm going to push this side flat to the table. With my right hand, I'm going to push this side flat to the table, and then the line will just be nice and straight.
as you can see they're bending very easily okay just using the table as a uh, flat surface here and my hands all right so we have a pretty straight copper nickel brake line to work with here see there you go I propped the phone up here so I hope you could see it so I'm gonna use the calipers you don't have to use calipers but uh, calipers and a uh, permanent marker to mark I'm gonna mark the outside surface of each of the bends you know measure and mark measure and mark so here's the outside surface right in the middle of the bend so I'm going to measure it and then mark it and then bend it that's assuming these are the same length I could try to bend the old line straight it might break because it's steel but uh, we'll just give it a shot. I think if we're close, we should be okay. And another thing is you, if you have a very long uh, brake line on the car that's like, you know, a bunch of bends, right angle bends. If you can pull the old brake line out while it's in its bent up condition, while it's in its formed condition, then you can fully form the uh, new line off of the car. And bring the new line to the car and put it on but you could only do that if you could uh, if you were able to remove the old brake line in its formed condition which obviously it's formed off of the car then you'll be able to get the new one in so, so some of them are tricky uh, I've never done this before this is my first time so uh, you know this is really not a how-to video it's more just documenting what I'm doing with my car um, so we'll see what happens thank you okay so here's my dot on the brake line it's at the uh you know at the elbow the gradual bend it's at the center of the grat where the gradual bend will be then i'm just going to uh squeeze these handles together and that this is about a right angle it's like a very gradual right angle not a sharp right angle so i'll give it a shot okay there's the dot and I'm doing this a little bit unorthodox here, a little half-assed. But normally I'd be squeezing this together with my hand, not resting this side on. But I just want you to see how it bends. Oh, look at that. I mean, if I could do it with one hand, you could see it's not that hard. Beautiful. I have officially bent my first brake line. I am no longer a brake line virgin. This is a milestone, gentlemen and ladies. Okay, I just realized that if you're strong enough, you could just, if you want to make a gradual bend, just hold the line down with your thumb and then just go like this and you can make a gradual bend. Okay, just a quick tip here. If you're buying brake lines with the fittings on them, do your bends at the end first. Because, for example, I did this bend right here, and now this fitting is in my way. And I can't slide it past this bend to get it out of the way. It's not a big deal. I could unbend it, slide it, then bend the end. So do the bends near the ends first. So you could just slide the fittings, you know, down here, out of the way, and uh, go to town. So I may unbend this and then use the tool, or I may just, uh, this is a, a gradual, 
almost a right angle bend I'm making here. See right at the very end. Um, so I could just put that around a cylinder like one of my sockets. I've seen people use sockets to bend brake lines. So I may go in the garage and do that. You just put a socket in the vise and then bend the line around the socket. These lines are very easy to bend. So piece of cake. All right, everybody. Here's my finished product. The first brake line that I ever bent in my whole life. It's close. It doesn't have to be exact. Because you can make uh, finishing, you could do fine tuning on the car, actually. That's my new light. So the last one, this last one here, I put a, a socket in my vise in the garage. And I bent this last final bend around the socket. I, I think the new line is a little bit longer than the line that was on there, but that's okay. And here's my grommet. I got soapy water on it, so I'm going to pop that in. All right, everybody. That's going to be it for now. I'm not going to show you every brake line that I'm bending. So I'm definitely doing the two fronts today, and maybe, maybe I'll just keep going. We'll see how the day goes. Bye-bye. Okay, the grommets I bought from a seller in Great Britain on eBay too big the holes in the car are like 1.280 and uh, the new grommets the hole has to be like 1.375 or something like that to fit so I'm just uh, taking out a little slice of pizza here and uh, just gonna do this and then it'll fit Okay, driver's side uh, uh, grommet is installed. Just had to cut out a little bit so it would fit because these were way too big uh, for the size holes in the body of this car. And here's what it looks like from the... Oh, oh where am I here? Oh, oh, okay. Here's what it looks like from the inside. Okay, bye. Okay, minor setback, everybody. And the minor setback is that, see this bend? It's got to be closer to the connector. Because I cannot get it in between the wheel well and the port. So I just have to redo this bend closer to the end, and then we'll be good. I, I had to remove it from the, uh, you know, I already had this connected to the uh, rubber brake line, so I had to remove that, but no big deal. So I'm, I'm just going to redo this end, and we should be good. All right, I got the bend closer, closer to the end of the brake line. It's not helping that the new line has a much longer threaded portion that's not helping as you could tell it would have it would have been nice if it was the same size as the old one but i think it's tight enough that i can get it into the uh proportioning valve there should be clearance enough now with this closer bend i wanted to leave myself some room to pull the fitting up after you you know remove it you know if you're unscrewing it you want some straight brake line to slide the fitting up a little bit all right, let's see what happens. I'm going to do this side first before I do the wheel side. I'm going to do the, you know, the proportioning valve side first, and then the wheel side. You know, the, the uh, flexible brake line side. Okay, moving along. I did the left front, and I did the two brake lines coming off the uh, master cylinder going to the proportioning valve which I'm going to show you. I'm going to replace these uh, line, these cable holders, brake line holders. I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to put the grommet in. And if we go over here, this is what I've done so far. <laughs> it took me a long time because, you know, definitely inexperienced with this. So, And that goes 
you know. That one's looking good. The line was a little long, so I couldn't reach this clip here. Uh, maybe I could bend it into it, though, because this, these lines are flexible. And if you come over here, it's hard to see, but this is the... I'll show you the right front brake line. I did the left front. See the clips? I pulled it out. It's got a few bends. Nothing horrible. Comes across the front of the car. And then here's where the brake was. It's actually like this. This is actually up like this. Goes like that. And then goes up into the proportioning valve. Now, I just don't know which side to start at. Maybe I make these two main bends. These two main ones here. Basically the corners. Push it through and then work under the hood. So, we'll see what happens. Okay, bye. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to change the uh, these, li these line holders first. Pop them all in. Change the grommet. And I'm going to just start with a couple of this bend here, the one that goes to the uh, the rubber brake line on the right front. I'm going to just do that little bend, because that little bend, because that'll be able to thread through. And then I'll do this main corner bend, shove it into the engine compartment, and then use the tool and do whatever bends I have to do under the hood. There's no way I can fail. Okay, everyone, I just replaced these uh, holders. See, you run the rail here. And then I'll show you underneath. All right, we're, we're under the car with our legs facing, you know, out from under the hood. So this is on the driver's side. That's the first one. There's the second one. Third one. And fourth one. So there's four running across. And then there's a bend after the last one to go towards the engine compartment. And I'll show you the one I changed on the passenger side under the hood. Okay, there's that one kind of under the carbon canister here. Way down there. That's where the line runs. And then it comes into the new grommet there. Put the new grommet on. Okay. I mean, change all of them. If you have these old white ones, they're uh, very brittle. So you might as well change them. Unless you have new white ones, then leave them. But those black ones came with the uh, the uh, brake line kit that I bought from Rimmer Brothers. So um, I use them. They seem okay. All right, bye. All right, I wasn't going to make a video, but... This is an important point that I want to share with everybody. All right. If you have the line and it has the connectors on it, you know, if you buy the kit, here's what I did. I started on the driver's side. Okay. I bent up line three. Well, it's line three anyway. So what I did was it screwed I screwed it in because it's a little hard to get underneath this proportioning valve so why not get that in and secure first <coughs> very easy to get it on the brake hose so anyway you know by the wheel so so I bent this well first I just fed the line you feed it on the side of the radiator oh excuse my hand okay cuz it's got to run up the rail so there's some bends here, see? I secured it in here. I didn't, I didn't get this one in here. I could always bend it, but I'll just leave it. So, what I did was I started on this side. I did a few, I did just uh, like the three, I did this bend, up to this bend in the house. Then I came out here, screwed it in, secured it here first. I secured it, uh, I'm sorry, where is this thing? pointing 
Oh, okay. I secured it here. Made sure it met up perfectly with the... Sorry about that. I must have hit a button. So, screwed into the proportioning valve. Route the line that goes across the front of the car. Push it. Just push it through the car. Right here, where it routes. See, it's going to route through here. That's the old line. I just laid it in here to, to go to school on it. Here's this line. Here's the new line. I got to get that in this thing here. So anyway, come around the front of the car. Oh, get on the ground here. So what I do is, look, you see this big loop? I just looped it around. Well, I pushed it through. Right through there is where it goes, okay? All right? Now, I have no... I think this is a good idea. So, the line was just... It was going way over there. It was going like six feet in front of the car. So, once I connected the driver's side, or the master cylinder side, now, I have that threaded through there. Let me show you. And then I, I just pushed it through... Pushed it through the passenger side, and it's uh, there it is. So, right now, it's just sitting right here. So, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do all the other the rest of the bending. Hopefully, get the line down there into that clip. That's a little tight. I may have to actually move this. I may have to pull it back out and, and route it on this side. Yeah, I'm going to pull it back out and route it on this side. And just let it come up. Just let it come up here, out the hood. Okay. So it's ready. Okay, so anyway. That's what I did. I started on the driver's side. It's all secure. It's screwed into the um, proportioning valve, as you can see. Let me give you a better angle on it. Where is that? Is that it? Yeah, okay, there's the two two front brake lines there, secured. Now I'm working on the one that goes across the hood. I'm gonna get under there, bend it. I can bend this stuff with my hands, which is great. I can make the bends, stick it in the clips. But I'm just gonna reroute the other side there because I got on the wrong side of a pipe there, so I'm just gonna pull it out, reroute it. Okay, bye. I, I was gonna get creative and route the line on the firewall or perhaps right over the motor and back over here I'm just kidding you know maybe uh, uh, route it in a way where it's not exposed to the elements because under the front where all the water hits you know got exposed to the elements but anyway here's where I have it sitting right now it's ready to go and there's where it's gonna go right in that hole right in that uh, grommet so it's poised <laughs> Alright, see you in a bit. Alright, I'm under the car. I have to get this behind the... See, I have to get this back here. And... Up there. See? It's gonna go on those clips. Alright, I got some work to do, so I'm gonna put the, the camera down. Hopefully I can get it in all those four clips. We'll see. Bye. This is part of the fun when working on old cars. When I pulled the connector off of the brake failure switch, one of the male pins broke off and now is stuck inside the female connector end, as you can see. Good thing I, I did buy a new switch, so I just got to pull out this thing, this pin, the male pin, that's in the female connector, or I could just replace this connector with a new one, no big deal. Okay, making progress. I just hit this last clip here, and then there's gonna be a bend coming up, and then, and then over to the clip on the top of the slope, uh, underneath the slope part of the car. So we're getting there. And there's the line just hanging out over here. Hopefully that won't be a pain in the neck. Should be okay though.
Okay, this was the final clip on the passenger side. I didn't see this one, but I should have known better because there was, you know, same ones on the other side. So I'm done. Lines are all connected. I'm just going to pop the passenger side line, front line, into the uh, clips. I just have to go in the house and get uh, one of these clips. Okay, bye. Okay, just a rundown of the finished uh, front brake lines and the lines that go from the master cylinder to the uh, proportioning valves. Runs up here, it makes a turn upward here. We'll go underneath, check it out. Okay, looking at the driver's side, there's the first clip. Second clip. Third clip. Oh, sorry for the... Wait, I'm upside down. Let me... Hold on. I'm going to turn around. Face. Passenger side. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's the... Uh, one of the two middle clips there. There's the end clip. Then it runs down the railing. You know, a big box section here. And then we'll go, uh, I don't know what I'm looking at here because I can't see, but we're gonna go look at it from the other side now. I'm just gonna pause it, sorry for the bounciness. Okay, continuing down the uh, frame rail, there's another clip there. Now, I didn't remove anything off this car to route this. Now, I know a lot of mechanics like to take off, take apart the whole damn car, take the engine out just to run a brake line. And sometimes you have to do that, and I'm not faulting them for that. Sometimes it's necessary. But uh, with these new uh, nickel copper ones there, you know, I, I did a lot of just uh, on, on the fly bending things by hand. Nice grommet, beautiful. Yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. I still have this side jacked up over here. You know, you just have to, hey, you just jack the car up a little bit. And, uh, beautiful. Better than factory. Can't believe that rusted already. I just bought those lines. Look at that. Just bought these things. These lines, oh, a few years ago. Just surface rust, I guess. But this is on perfect. Everything's tightened up. So, the only thing left is the bleeding. And on a left-hand drive car, I think you go right front bleed first, then left front, and then right rear. That's it. I think there's just three. Now let's walk over to the table and see what we replaced today. Okay, so here's the lines. This is what rusted. The one that went underneath. Here's the two from the master to the proportioning valve. These were good. I just changed them because I had new ones, but I'll save the old ones. And here's the one, little short one to the left front brakes. And the big long one. Whoa, it's getting windy. Long Island in March is just wonderful. I just love the wind. Uh, so anyway, there's the lines. How many? One, two, three, four. So four brake lines, like eight, clamp, eight line holders. I unscrewed the uh, brake failure switch. I have a new one. And uh, so the next step is to bleed the brakes. Thank you for spending a beautiful Saturday afternoon with me. Um, you know, this is my hobby. I could never be a mechanic taking uh, all day long to replace four brake lines. But I'll have something to do when I'm retired someday. I don't give a shit. I'll take eight hours to replace one brake line. It's all about the fun of it. Precise bends. Look at these old grommets. 
So now I'm debating whether I want to do all the rear, all the rest of the lines. I may wait till next summer to do the rears. I know I'm getting lazy. I am. I just want to drive the car. You know, I'll do the rears. I, I have them, so I'll do them. Uh, it's not even this summer yet, but I'll do them next summer. Uh, spent some a lot of time with the car in the winter to get it done. You know, the oil leak I fixed. Now the brake lines. Okay, no need to belabor this. Appreciate you watching and hope you learned something. This was my first time bending up brake lines. Um, I give mechanics a lot of credit using bending these old steel lines up. But uh, the new brake lines are real, really great. Here's one of the old clips. Still in good shape, but I changed them because they're kind of brittle. Okay. So, uh, I don't even know. I said the date at the beginning, but it's Saturday. I think March 19th or something like that. It's getting cold out. I'm not going to bleed them tonight. Getting a little tired and, you know, why rush? Do a good job. Easy to bleed the brakes on this car anyway. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone.